guys, Jeremy Bayless, Del Rayley Designs. Welcome back to another Tapestry of Truth. Do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe and share with your friends. Today we're going to be going over pretty much signs and symbols. Uh, I found some pretty interesting stuff for you guys today. Uh, we're going to start out as always, you know, we want to follow God's commandments. Um, today, according to the Jews, is Sabbath. According to the uh, Gregorian calendar, Saturday is Sabbath. Uh, if you follow the lunar, sol lunar solar calendar, then actually Sundays this month are the Sabbath. So there's two ways of doing that. Uh, I am still trying to figure out what I think would be the right, correct way to do it, but I try to honor both days. So cur currently, this month, Saturday and Sunday for me is Sabbath, which is fine because I try to make those days for God anyway. Um, guys, the, the most important part is it's coming from your heart. So uh, the Sabbath was changed in March 7th, 321. And it was changed by Roman Emperor Constantine I when he issued a civil decree making Sunday a day of rest from labor, stating, All judges and city people and the craftsmen shall rest upon the venerable day of the sun. And that is, guys, because Constantine worshipped the sun. Uh, he actually came up with the name Jesus H. Christ, which was a combination of Christos and Zeus. It's not for us to determine, guys. The church does not determine what the Bible teaches. It is the Bible that determines what the church must teach. And that was Charles Spurgeon that said that. Um, pretty smart guy. He is right there. It is not for men to dictate God's Word. John fourteen fifteen. it says, If you love me, keep my commandments. So let's, let's do our best, guys, to strive and follow Yah's t uh, commandments. I, I just like this uh, picture. This wasn't something that I made up. Um, a lot of the images that I use are just inspiring or show what's going on. Uh, this is showing, you know, where children become what you pour into them. And it's our choice whether we pour love or hate. And, um, you know, lately it's been a lot of talking about save the children or save our save our children i showed you guys a hashtag that was taken off of social media yesterday but uh this was something i put on facebook it said save your own children get your house under control stop being their friend and start being a parent it's not society's job to train and discipline them if they if we bring them up with the rod of discipline like the bible states that doesn't mean beat your children it means discipline them love them then they will turn into uh, well good human beings guys it's what we want isn't it raise our children to become good, better people than us are you uh you know we went over the other day either your lead follower get out of the way what a lot of followers will never know is how hard the leader tries to create a path um you don't know how thick it is sometimes you don't know how people that um, stand up for god actually have to fight every day even their own family and friends in order to get things done. You'd be surprised. The righteous are politically correct as a lion. No, that's not what Proverbs 28.1 says. It says the righteous are bold as a lion. That means we stand up for God no matter what happens. Um, if you have His back, I promise you He has yours. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And how true is that today? Like, we really can see that, you know, people are fighting over truth and what is and what isn't truth. And it's almost gotten to the point where it's impossible to tell what, what is and what isn't. But one thing you can always count on is God's Word is wisdom and instruction. God's second commandment was at Exodus 20, verse 4. And it says, You shall not make to you any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Verse 5 says, You shall not bow down yourself to them nor serve them, 
For I, Yahuwah, your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. And if we look here, there's a pretty good image. And I mean, you know, it's actually pretty true. And a uh, weird fun fact, I don't have it in this video, but if you look up uh, New York and Andy Cuomo on Gematria, like a Gematria calculator, they both equal 666. You know, on Wall Street, we have the golden calf and how appropriate that is. You know, I mean, everybody uh, bows down and worships to it. It's the way to get rich quick by so many. Which idol are you worshiping? Are you following men or are you following God? It is very important. And, you know, the commandment not to make any graven image, if we would listen, there would never be anything like what you see here. And here we have Baphomet on the right and current day Jesus on the left. Their signs and symbols are their giveaway. God said no graven images. That means even of His Son. The fact that there are many more pictures like this is a sign. Go look for yourself. Do you know what or who you worship? Or do you think you know? We've all been brainwashed by television, music, movies, and media. You have to dig deep, seek Him every day, and He'll show you the truth. Praise Yahuwah and His Son Yeshua. Follow His commandments. Now here, guys, this was something I put up on Facebook again the other day. Um, it's Baphomet on the right, and you can see the children are looking up to Him and worshiping Him. Now where I'm talking about the signs and symbols are the burnt the heart with the uh, thorns and the cross on fire on Jesus' chest, as well as the hand symbol. And I'll zoom in on that so you can see what I'm talking about. But the hand symbols are the same. And a lot of celebrities and musicians and politicians all do this same gesture. And it means, as above, so below. And they're worshiping Baphomet. Even the depiction of Jesus on the left, God said, make no graven images. That means of anything. We got to stop doing this. It is worshiping idols. Now, here again, and I'm going to zoom in, you see Jesus is doing the Baphomet sign again. Well, I've showed you guys this before, and it's birthdays, different birthdays, of the Savior's, Savior gods that are worshiped on December 25th throughout all of history. And I mean, look at all these. You've got Hermes, Buddha, Krishna. I remember I told you Krishna. Horus, Hercules, and Adonis on the top. Then you have Dionysus, Zarathustra, Jesus, Mithras, and Tammuz. Tammuz. Like, they're all on December 25th. And I promise you, Jesus' birthday is not on December 25th. There's a lot of evidence that pro proves that it is more than likely in September. Um, this particular uh, image says September 3rd, or I'm sorry, according to Scripture, our Messiah, Yahusha, was first born Feast of Trumpets on September 3 of B.C. So be careful what you're worshiping, guys. I'm showing you this stuff because it's like a... Um, well, what do you call it? A bait and switch, okay? If they direct your worship and try to tie it to what you believe, but it's actually tied to pagan religion and worship, then you're not worshiping God how you need to be. That's why He has Ten Commandments and rules, okay? And so you might say, well, what's, go what's going on? And you already saw me flip over to this. Phoenix versus the dragon. That's kind of what I believe is essentially going on. Like, whether you believe it or not, go watch my last video. The devil is in control of this entire world. God allows it, okay? Because it's going to fulfill His will no matter what. But the devil is in charge. And he has everyone under control one way or the other. Yes, even you and I. If we don't act how we're supposed to, daily we are a tool of the devil or we're a tool of god 
This is a giant chess match, okay? But God is allowing the devil to completely rule this world. It says he's walking around like a roaring lion seeking to, to devour someone. Now, what you have here is what they laid out in like Game of Thrones and a lot of different stuff like that. The occult, okay? This is occult worship belief. And they have Order of the Phoenix versus Order of the Dragon or the Golden Dawn. And you may have seen other things that I've posted about that before. So they at many times go head to head in battle. And there's a lot of times it's like Game of Thrones. They have alliances of families and all these different things. But they all are going to kill each other. That's what happens. That's what the children's seed do. The devil's seed rather. They just want to kill everybody. It's, you know, it happened from uh, Cain until present day. So I'm going to show you some stuff now. All right. Like I said, we have dragon versus the phoenix. The phoenix was in charge. Many believe that was Lucifer. Okay. Now the dragon was coming into charge. And many believe that's Hasatan or Satan as we call it. Um, now here. Donald Trump has thanked Kanye West for sharing his dragon energy. Dragon energy, okay? If you don't believe me, here's the posts. Donald J. Trump sharing that Kanye got his hat signed. And Kanye said, you don't have to agree with Trump, but the mob can't make me not love him. We are both dragon energy. He's my brother. I love everyone. I don't agree with everyone and he anyone does everything anyone does that's what makes us individuals and we have the right to independent thought and trump said thank you kanye very cool so dragon energy is on the scene according to them okay don't forget to hit the subscribe guys um we got some more we're gonna go over i hope you're enjoying everything so far i do have some more images that you're either gonna like or you're not but either way, um, it is true, okay? I'm going to go over some signs and symbols with you guys today. And this is only going to be a brief uh, video about this. I'm going to continue on with different signs and symbols. And I'll compile different things and put them together for you. So you can see what I see, okay? Revelation 16, 13 says, And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. And here we have a nice frog in one of the protests uh, with his 666 hand symbol. And if you see it, the round part, I mean, you can see it, 666. That's why they do the three fingers up. I know that it means okay in sign language, but to occult language, it means devil worship, 666. I'm going to show you some others. Enjoy the music. stop here for a second um, apparently according to the mainstream media this is our 46th president guys uh, I couldn't get past the point that he just straight up looked like uh, was it Gollum or whoever from Lord of the Rings the the little evil looking dude that you know my precious you know what I'm talking about right yeah that, this is just a crazy looking photo uh, this as well like you know, this is a staged photo, and I can't get over the fact of how much those look like horns. I know that, you know, there's so much stuff, guys. They're all doing it. That's the point. There's none that are innocent. Um, the way that they do it, and if you go watch these things in context, which I've watched many. Like I said, I'm not picking on Trump. They all do it. But their signs will be their downfall. I guess he just thinks everything is okay, right? 
Every politician and celebrity does this. It's a 666 hand gesture. This is only one gesture. I'll show you more. I'll show you covers of magazines, commercials, television, news, music. It's everywhere. If you think I'm picking on Trump, I'm not. They all do it. And let's check out the Black Eye Club. Oh, whoa. Look at all this, okay? It is certainly a dangerous day in Hollywood and politics, isn't it? I mean, I understand some of these people could possibly have a black eye. I honestly couldn't tell you the last time I have had a black eye. It's been a long, long time. But who's beating all these people up? Like, who's punching them? Go check out and look up the Black Eyed Club on Google. I would recommend that you pray first. You're going to find information that you might like, but it's pretty scary. Well, that's all, folks. That's all I got for you. Da, 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 that's all, folks. Or is it? Well, if you're local here in Alabama, we've got a little uh, update the other day. Alabama cuts COVID deaths with no underlying conditions from 130 to 13. A change in criteria used to determine some coronavirus deaths in Alabama has lowered that count by more than 100. Data from the Alabama Department of Public Health now shows 13 of the state's 2,914 COVID-19 deaths were among people with no underlying health conditions. The age range for those deaths is 53 to 88, with a median age of 73. Well, guys... You be the judge. I've told you masks are uh, marks of slavery. They are marks of war, according to them. And that is, this time, all I have for you folks. Until next time, stay tuned. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. And don't forget to share with your friends and family.